the first thing I'm going to do is give my paper a brick pattern because it's a little bit easier to do while it's flat. So I'm going to draw about seven or eight horizontal lines all the way across my page. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven will work. And then for the bricks, what you do is you do some vertical lines and I'm spacing them about three fingers apart for the first row. For the second row, your lines are going to be in the middle of the ones from the row above it. So the third row now is actually going to match the first row. And then the fourth row is going to match the second row. And you keep going like that all the way down your page. Just always go in the middle of the brick that's above it. So now I'm going to flip my paper over and I'm going to run a glue stick uh, three or four times up and down all the way on one side. I'm going to roll it into a tube. This part's a little tricky, but do your best to get those ends to match up. And then you can rub it this way, but it sometimes works a little better if you put it down on the table and rub inside the tube. you got to give it a second to dry. You can already tell it's starting to look like a tower. But I don't want this tower to be round because I want to be able to connect other things to it. So in order to make it square, what you do is once the glue is stuck, you are going to squash it. Rub those edges. And if you are using a Sharpie, a Sharpie works really well for creasing those edges. Now when I lift it up, I'm going to try to make this corner match this corner. So I'm going to bring those two corners together and put it back down. If they don't match exactly, it doesn't really matter because it'll just make it a rectangle instead of a square. And that works too. Okay, so now I have my, my square tower. It doesn't quite look like a castle yet because I, I want to make that line up at the top, the rampart line that goes up and down with like little squares. So what I'm going to do on each side, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to make two cuts. One two, and then I'm going to fold that little piece down. Turn it to the next side. One, two. Do you see how I'm cutting up to my first line? And then I fold that little piece down and go all the way around and do all four sides. One, two, and fold it down. Now, isn't that already starting to look kind of like a castle? So now imagine if you make two of them, now I've got two towers. And then if I had a third one, I could connect the towers. And now it's really starting to look like a castle. So now how do you glue these together? You might ask. We're going to make some tabs. So just like we made the little cuts at the top, I'm going to go down and I'm going to cut each corner. One, two, three, four on both sides. Okay, so now two of those sides can get pushed in. You see how I'm folding them in? And then you can see how the other two sides, one will go in front and one will go in back and it kind of starts to fit together like a puzzle. And then I'll probably go and try to connect those brick lines. So let me do it on the other side. I'm going to fold the same sides in. Let's see how they're now they're starting to fit like a puzzle. Okay, when I'm ready to glue, I'm just going to put some glue on the back of each tab. So it's a little tricky. I don't know if you can see, I'm putting glue on that tab, putting glue on this tab, and then I'm going to do my best to line it up at the bottom. And sort of rub, 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 rub on that side. 
rub on this side. This is a spot where if you needed help from an adult to help you glue in this part together, that is understandable. It can get a little bit tricky, but I really think that you can do it. All right, so now I'm gonna put glue on the other side. All right, so now I need to add a few finishing touches. Um, I might wanna add some windows. So again, it's kinda of nice that my hand is gonna fit in here. So if I wanted to add like a, a window up at the top, I might try to use some of the brick lines like there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, put my hand inside so I have something to press against. Okay, I also wanna do a drawbridge and I want the bricks to go. So I think I'm gonna draw a half a circle on this side and I'm gonna make it look sort of like bars. And then I also want to make it look like the bricks connect. So I'm going to do my best to take this one and draw a line all the way across and connect to this one. If they don't match exactly, that's okay. Okay, so there is a basic castle right there. I'm gonna do a part two of this video to show you adding more details, but if you got this far, give yourself a little pat on the back for a job well done.